obviously in the uh in the midst of trying to win games, um, you know, it's something that we probably didn't need. But, you know, uh we all communicate and talk to each other. So we're all trying to find ways to win. And I'm open to any and everything. You know, when guys bring it to me, coaching staff. So um I'm always watching film, trying to better myself and be a better basketball player and find ways to make my teammates better. So great players, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. We heard from Marcus Smart. We heard from Jalen Brown in the game. Just six assists, six assists total for Brown and Tatum. Al Horford had seven assists. Yeah, and that has to change because those guys' usage rate is extremely high. Now, if you're winning games, you don't have to change anything, Sam. But when you start losing, and I think they're so talented, that's the next step because when you have two guys – of their caliber and together I think they're coming up with about six assists. I think together those guys got to start talking at least coming up with at least close to double digits between the two. And when Al Horford, the center, is leading you in assists, it's not because of the point guard should be getting them. Because of the point guard and Dennis Schroeder and Marcus Smart, those two guys are not handling it enough. A lot of these guys are one-on-one -on -one and I think they also have to change that. When you're a great player, if I cut, I might take two people with me. And if I'm a great player and I beat my guy off the dribble, I'm taking two people with me. Try to get other guys some open shots, some easier looks. That's what makes the game easier for you down the stretch. I played with a guy named Kevin Garnett who averaged about seven, eight assists a game. From the power forward position, to your point, when you have the ball all the time, there's a responsibility to come with it. And you and I, everyone on this set, when we watched the Celtics play the last two years, what have we been saying? It's shocking to me that Marcus Smart just talked about it. We've been saying those guys take bad shots for the last two years. They don't pass the ball to each other. They dribble too much. They take too many tough shots. And finally, Marcus Smart has brought it to the attention of those two guys. They had to have known because the thing that's blowing my mind, Brad Stevens ever talked about this? <laughs> I mean, I'm just shocked because we've been saying it for two years, and we've been saying the downfall of this team because when one guy does it, it's like a bad apple. It spoils the whole bunch. And what we've seen, it started with Tatum. It, it permeated down to Brown. And now everyone on that team, because the ball is not going to come back, everyone, when they feel like they got the opportunity, they're letting the ball fly. And look, this was a good step against a young, mm -hmm. inexperienced Orlando Magic team. But understand something. Teams are not going to change how they're playing you overnight because one game is not going to prove that all those, those bad habits that you have, you're not going to get rid of him in one game. Yeah, what I do like Yoka, is Jalen Brown said he's now. open to everything about being able to have criticism. Smitty, what I find, though, there is no way for the last two years those two guys cannot be aware that they haven't been passing the ball. All you got to do is look at stat sheet. If I'm getting 30-plus shots and I have one or two assists, come on, man. I don't have to read the stat sheet. And I know in my heart when I'm taking 30-plus shots if I'm distributing the ball or passing the